What's going on everyone? In this video, I'll basically be going over the new GeForce Topics driver version 5.16.79. So apparently this driver is supposed to be fixing the known issues that have been causing Destiny 2 the video game to crash. So we all know how we can get when our favorite video game crashes and we can't play it. We panic at the disco. So good news is that I've downloaded this driver, I've tested it, and it's been working just fine, splendid, and I've been so happy playing my favorite video game again. But if you're like me that ran into the issue where you weren't able to like see the driver coming up when you open up GeForce Experience, then you're probably gonna have to go on the interwebs and uh, download the most recent update. So if you follow me, pull up your trusted favorite browser. Now I already have this pulled up, but you know, just an FOI. For me, it was Chrome. You know, I just Googled NVIDIA. Ooh, NVIDIA, does it come up? NVIDIA, there we go. <laughs> Video hotfix. So the first thing that comes up is GeForce hotfix driver version 5.16.79. And now this will, if you go, you know, do a little bit of reading here, go to the hotfix addresses the following issues. Yeah, 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 yeah. I only care about Destiny 2. It'll say game may randomly freeze after launching game or during gameplay. So, you know, hotfix addresses the these issues. So basically pretty forward. Just click here to download the GeForce hotfix display jar for the Windows 10 or 11. Who uses the Windows 11? What? And then once it downloads, you can go to your downloads and basically it's right here. Open it up, click OK, and you just pretty much follow the steps that, you know, get prompted for you. Once you do that, your computer will be like whoop de doo reboot, and you'll see version 5.16.79. So just an FYI, if you're still currently having issues with crashing, I'd highly recommend you do revert. You know, keep that in mind. I can also put the instructions down below how to revert, but that's basically what the fix was for the previous thing when there was causing the known crashing issues. So just keep that in mind. Don't panic if you're still having issues, but the crashing issues should be resolved with this uh, new version of 5.16.79. So hopefully that helps you guys and lets you get back to the gameplay. So that's pretty much it for the video. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Boosh.